Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video, the demo has arrived. We have a Major Cyclone on demo for a while. And we're here with Martin from Major and he's just come down to help set us up and make sure that it's set up on the tractor right now. We have it on the 7618 which is a bit of an overkill but that's just the tractor that was sparing the yard at the minute. Probably going on to the 6290 to do most of the topping. But Martin's just going to run through some of the features of this Major topper. Um, because look at all I know is that mulch is everything but there's a lot more into it than that yeah so we have the um, the cyclone 2.5 meter here so this machine will work on any tractor from about 90 horsepower up so you could put it on a 390 and it would work with plenty of power there anyway it's got four rotors underneath it's got five gearboxes so your power comes out a heavy duty number eight PTO shaft down into a central gearboxes feeds two to the left and two to the right so you have four rotors right across the bottom got uh, two cutting blades and two mulching blades on each rotor so anything that goes through there is going to get well cut up and well mulched yes. that bottom blade cuts it up this one here helps to mulch it and spreads it it spreads all the debris out over the roller nice and even so the roller here got a, a, a large eight inch roller running on a wheel hub at each end that helps to keep you from getting too close into the ground and grounding the machine and doing damage so ideally we like to drop them on the roller run it on the roller and kind of slightly carry it on the lift arms when we're operating yes just keep the front of the machine up now these are ideal for cutting i suppose most people buy them in the west of ireland cutting heavy rushes they'll cut wind bushes anything basically i'd just say anything you can get over they'll they'll cut they'll, it, they'll you know? cut it if they'll you get across it, it. but they'll also do a very good job in a, a paddock yes so they'll do a nice clean job in a, in a paddock they'll suck up all the grass they'll top it clean compared to say flail mowers and a lot of the other machines people compare them to where your um, your flails cut very tight and they're, they're not very good in a paddock. Yes. They'll just tear the grass. They're also, you're looking at a ground speed here in, in heavy going, you'd work away at about five kilometers an hour, yes. right up to about maybe 10 then in a paddock. It won't be too so, bad at 10 yeah, though. You'll knock out a lot of yeah. ground, like, knock a lot of ground out in a day. Um, they're fully galvanized, heavy duty comer boxes. So as I say, good strong machine. It's built out of, uh, I'll just show you here, it's Strinex steel. So that's a high yield steel. It's not your standard mild steel. It's yes. about two and a half times stronger. So you can keep the weight of the machine down and still have a very, very robust machine. Yes. Well, we we'll go find some rushes. Yeah. So we're just down on the well field now where we have a bit of a rush problem. Well, give it half an hour and rushes will be gone. It's doing a superb job there now. Just chopping and mulching. The only thing is with the 7618, we are on the wide tires, a bit, maybe a bit heavy tractor. So she's just, we'll have to overlap a little bit just to try and catch the edge of the rushes, but it's not going too bad now. Um, but when it goes on the 6290, it should run maybe a little bit better that way, but other than that, no. That's some difference. Look well now when the field is done. No. So, I'm just after ma ma marking out the field that we were in with Martin. Uh, so broken be topping. So, bro, what's the biggest thing you have to watch out for? Stones. Stones. Yes. We think, I'm pretty sure this side is safe, but on a bar kind of downside of the field is where the stones might be. So, we think we're pretty good. So we're traveling there at 3.6 kilometers. Go nice and steady, make sure it gives you more time to feel your eye into stuff. So, Bro, one other thing is, see how I'm driving? Mm -hmm. You need to drive with a little bit of an overlap just to catch the bit that the tires are pushing out that it's not mulching. It's just the tractor's a bit too big for the job, that's all. But just show the job that's been done, bro. So it's doing a masterful job there now. Masterful job. Much better than you using the John Deere mower. But yeah, that's it. So just, bro, keep an eye out. If anything goes wrong, lift off. Mm -hmm. Lift off. Remember what you have to do? Lift off. Lift off. And not lift off into space, actually. Lift it up and turn it off. Yeah. Or turn it off, lift it up, whichever. I know, I know. And when you're coming across this bit here, just lift it up. Just in case it's out from there. And down again. Why she is knocking at four six. Yeah, it looks like an actual usable field now. Yeah, it's actually changed, turning it around the holy terror now. Anyways, I hope I don't get a phone call from you and I'm going to fiddle off now and go do something else. I hope I don't have to give you a phone call. We've topped what we know we can top with the John Deere. 
and now it's time to do the rest with this. Do a bit of risky job. Yes. Anyways, I'm going to swap a pro now. There you are, brother. And I'm going to go on about my business. So, bro, take her handy, be safe. Don't break it. And when you have this done, um, bring it back into the yard or ring me. I might do that bit out there myself, maybe. We'll head off a bit. But anyways, have fun. Fingers crossed. When we come back, you know, we'll do what all the fancy YouTubers do. We'll click the fingers and it'll be a new field. And we're back. And it's done. Now you can see little wisps where I just probably, where I may have um, not overlapped enough just to catch the bit the tire was putting down. But that is some transformation. So, I just come back out, I'm going to do this small bit here, it's a couple of stones just have to watch out for, I wasn't happy for him to do it, but I'm going to chance it. Calves are going bloody annoy me now, but I'm going to do these few dockings here, and nettles, but we can't go into them rushes there, stones, so, but I'm going to do a bit of topping now for the evening, mark out the next few paddocks for him to do and he can be knocking away at it and if we get a chance we'll put up the drone but we'll see how we get on anyways we're knocking down all these docks here try and tidy this bit up you can see these lovely crop of docks here in just this little square between the back of the sheds and the hedge so we're mulching them down try to avoid cows to have a Fairly tidy this pop up of it. So we're just down in the stony field, so that's where we mow them at hay. And then this is the corner we couldn't mow into. And the cattle have a graze, but as you can see, rushes, I don't want to see them there because I usually can mow in that. So we are getting rid of them. So this is a safe spot to top. So all I'm doing is just going around the outside, so marking along there and along here so Bro can come down and top that at his leisure then, and I know he's safe to top in there. We're doing over six kilometers an hour there, and she is oh, whacking them down. So I think I might just go around again for the crack, or will I? No, I want to get on and do where the bulls are now, and I leave that then to Bro. He can knock that out of it with ease, with absolute ease, because that is 110% safe in there. The only thing that may happen is it might get stuck, but that, even at that, that shouldn't happen because ground is dry. Ground is dry. I'm going to go where the bulls are and see can I make some tracks out there and do, do where they are, which is, there's a spot in there which we mow, which I might actually mark out for bro to do as well, and then I go into the rushes, which haven't been done in quite some time, quite some time.
stopped off at your door And now I think I'll stay this till dark anyways so that section there we've mowed and bailed this year we didn't but normally year we, we would so I'm going to mark it for Eric to do that bro to do that section and then I'm going to chancer into this and the lower bit because there's a cache there and then there's a bit of a shore goes up the middle there and some piles of clay so it has to be gone wrong well, it's been a long time since anything was done with these rushes and I mean a long time but now we're going to whack them out of it say goodbye rushes and we are back out I can't remember how much I filmed the last time I think I finished with drone footage and I topped the rushes in the stony field. I topped the bottom bit where the cars were, where we mowed the other bit. And then I come out to here, the clump, which is a world of dockings. And I marked it out so that I know where is safe. Because I've topped this before to finger bar more. All this section here is safe, except for a lump of bog oak out there. When we get to the clump there, there's a lot of big stones sticking up. That bit there should be all right. The bit up there between the combine header and what I've done is okay. But there's, there's, there's big boulders, same as what, why we couldn't mow all the fields. This has them big boulders of stones poking up. Just have to be careful, so. Rory's going to do this bit, so. The first bit of topping, you do topping yeah, in. Yeah, that's topping in, yeah. yeah. But, um, first top of the brand new demo. Machine. Brand new demo machine, and, and doing a hunch, and uh, and chance stony it. ground, and there's a lump of bog oak to be avoided, so it's like, just have to be careful. So anyways, this runs in a thousand, so oh, yeah. just push her over. Yeah. Right, so turn her on. Wait, we just set, we set the heights. Oh, you to to we set the heights now. Just hang on, we do her on, on, the, on the rocker. So I should put that down. Yeah. yeah, she's pretty good. Like, the, the shaft is safe now, because we have the shoulder one in. Yeah, we put a shaft off on, the harvesters on her. So then when you flick her down, she wants to run at just where she's catching. Just trying to toss it. Yeah, she's to run that she runs on the roller on the lift rather than on the skids. On the skids, okay. So you 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 just have her at the point where she's just kind of just where, where them where, yeah where them chains are just kind of cat holding it. You'll know if you're too far when you're on that kind of a sweet spot. She hits anything at all. You get the chuck of the yeah, chain. Like it moves. Yeah, but see around that. So turn her on there. So then rev her up till she's doing about nine hundred on RPM. Hello. Now drive her in in one A there. See the stone there. It should be all right there. You kind of have to be watching out for the stone and when you see the stone just lift it across it. Yeah. Like she's running at about four inches there at clearance which is isn't too bad like. It's still a lot of trouble. Yeah. But it's actually much better suited to it now than the 7618, 7618 
18 is a bit heat and big. So it is. That's doing a nice job there though. So you just can't really turn with it in the ground. Oh, yeah. So just lift it, go back, straighten. Yeah. You know yourself. when this field is done is that field out there which is is too stony i reckon that field out there when they cleaned up all the drains and everything was just chucked out onto it kind of graded back but it was never picked around it's it's on the list as i said before when i get all these fields receded and leveled and mobile but i think it's just, it could be just too chancy there's also barbed wire sticking out some bits where just when when it was all tidied they never really tidied up after themselves and it's the same then with the next paddock across the way when there was drains being dug there was loads of clay tipped and leveled but the stones were never gathered and you could hit a loose stone and bring it up so it's not it's it's risk versus reward and especially when you don't own the machine you don't want to risk too much so it's it's yeah but i know this bit here is safe because i topped all this with the finger bar more so I know where it's safe and where it's not. And it's the same then where the other side of where them heavy rushes are where we started. That is the worst bit for big knobbly bits of, of boulders and rocks sticking up out of the ground. Yeah. So you, you're all yeah, good, all around. good, all good in there. You can see kind of where I top to. Yeah. So this is the right here. Yeah. But then that bit straight in front good of you there is a spring. So oh, you get right. stuck if you go into that. Uh, stay, you yeah, stay out of there though, no, because that's you can see lumps of bog oak sticking up, and that's the spray. She, she'd be very wet. Should be the high. We see the bog oak out there now, yeah. just sitting proud of its own accord. Just go around that. That's all. Every, it should be fine after that. Yeah. I'll do one more round there, and then then I'll head off and, and go bailing. Give you a tip finish this up. Sixty two ninety is much better fitted to it so it is than the seventy six. Yeah, get rid of all these dockings. So the plan is after we get top uh, a couple of weeks time when the docks start to grow again we we'll try and get some spray out but the reality is the docks are so bad out here it's going to take a lot of attempts to try and get rid of them they're just the galway and i said ever since this field was receded and when i say receded it was just tilled this grassy chuck and that brought a big flurry of docks in it's been a battle ever since but it doesn't help that when they get the seed as the old saying, seven year, one year seeding is seven years weeding, so. How and ever, put grass under it, but the docks just make a bit of a nice sort of it. But just to kind of show you, we're at the clump now, and this is the kind of ground that we're on here. Like that's a lump of rock that just goes into these rocks, that just bedrock. There's very parts of the farm especially on the bottoms there's very little clay and then you get into bedrock like all this vein here back up to the yard back across that way down then across the other side of where we top the rushes there's very very little soil and you you go down and you just meet big boulders and it's the likes of you can see that lad there and that there's I suppose a rock breaker is probably the best job. Um, the easiest job would be just leveling clay across them, but a rock breaker would get rid of the surface, get rid of them like that there, just sticking up out of the ground. But um, yeah, it does make it quite hard to work the ground, but when you go across that bit, then you're into pure peat, marl, wetland where there's nothing in it but um yeah oh, look, it is what it is we'll top it as much as we can and then we'll try and spray the wet rest and see can we get rid of these dockings because it's a bit of a scourge this field in particular is the worst of the whole lot but the topper's doing a nice job um 
doing a great job super job on rushes and that she's mulching up mulching up everything there and uh, we you can go faster i transfer on there when i was topping the other side there i was told you can go up to 10 so i done 10. lovely job the only reason we're just taking a handy here is because you just need time to react if you hit someone with the wheel you only have a couple of seconds then to flick the switch get the lift to come up or if you see a stone coming you just need that bit of time to react to it like again the stones there oh, yeah, it's not a simple bit of ground you make the most of what you have yes i'm gonna leave rory to it we'll come back and see how he gets on after when we get back from Balin, and we see what difference it is from the drone so, hey hon you get a bit done Well, I started out in June And I thought I'd do okay Now I sing another tune And I've been another way I've been down this road before But I've seen a different your door and now I think I'll stay so we're out here on an out farm just dropping Roy back off to go finish topping out here so he's mulching down thistles and tronions but getting on the finest well it's doing a nice job now um, nearly have all done just to this out farm and our out farm to do and then we have all done and the one other thing we want to do is we want to get it into the orchard and straight get between the trees and that's why when major come to us and they said oh we hear you're you're looking for a top or what can we send you and i said well we'll take an eight foot because if you get down the rows of the trees 10 foot would probably have made more sense but we want to see what it was like in between the trees because there is some crop of dirt in between the trees. Some lovely job there. Whacking and chopping up everything that's there. You're happy enough with it? Yeah bro, sure it is. Easy, easy, easy enough job to do? Yeah. Just slow. Just slow. Yeah. And uh, the odd landmine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ground we're doing now mightn't be just the simplest but you've got there so far and so touch far. wood now. Yeah, you touch wood. Yeah, yeah, you don't meet hand. Yeah. But well, you get a finished. Real good job, eh? Yeah. From what it was. Well, yeah. yeah, no, it'll bring on a bit of grass and it'll slow down all them thistles and that. Wouldn't mind, but these were already sprayed this year, but <laughs> it didn't get all of them. So, shame. Yeah, big thanks to Major for sending us out the Major Cyclone to demo. Once we get all the top and done, then it's going to go back to them and we'll see then. We'll see what it's like in the orchard. That is the test because we need something for the orchard. And if it doubles up, it'll do the orchard, do a bit of top and first. You know, then that's that's kind of where we're at because we need something for the orchard. All the bullocks are coming over to us now to see what's going on. Yeah, big thanks to Major for sending it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. That's it for me. Good luck.